Okay, we just showed you how to install the Nerd to the garage door opener. Uh, we also showed you how we put these indicator switches up here so we knew when the garage door is open. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this single Nerd device to a second garage door opener located several feet away. Now to do this, what I'm going to need is I'm going to need to connect it to the second output coming out of the Nerd. So I'll need two wires to do that. And then I'm also going to put uh, the limit switch on it so I know the location of the garage door as well. So I'll need two more wires to do that. So basically I need to string a four conductor wire from this garage door opener over to that garage door opener. And we'll do that now and uh, just show you how easy this is. I've taken the liberty of already putting connectors on here so I've got my .250 quick connects that will go to the second output on the Nerd. And then I just got a couple butt connectors that I'm going to connect to this uh, to the other input connection. And then I'll run this wire over, try and put it discreetly up and over and then connect it to that garage door opener over there. I don't need power or anything at that second garage door opener because everything's going to be handled by this single Nerd here. And let's see how this goes together. Now it doesn't matter, since this is dry contact, it doesn't matter which wire goes to which contact on this second output. And I had these tied up because it wasn't any use, so now I'm going to cut loose. Okay, I want to leave enough room, make a good connection, and I'll tie this all up nice and secure a little later but for the benefit of the video I'm just going to get everything wired together okay now all my connections are made so what I've done is I've wired two wires to the second output of the nerd device and two more wires to the second input of the Nerd device. Now what I need to do is make my connections over here at the other garage door opener. Once again, I'm not going to worry about tying up these wires right now. I'm just going to run it over to the garage door opener and make my connections. I determined with the last garage door opener that simply shorting these two contacts is what triggers our door. So it's those two contacts that I want to attach the output, output two of the nerd device to. Once again, it doesn't matter which connection goes to which side. Morgan, would you bring me my phone, please? Daddy's little helper. Here. So if I launch my app, you'll notice we've got the one garage door, which is open over here, still connected. So if I go in here and edit it, I'm going to turn output 2 on, and I'm going to make that a garage door output as well. And I'm going to call it my... Porsche. Okay, so now I've got both garage door openers connected to the one nerd. There's one, there's the other.
if you'll notice the first garage door that we hooked up, you'll see the open light. You'll notice that this one doesn't have the switch in place, so it's just saying close still because it doesn't see a switch. So next we'll install the same switch over there so we can tell when this uh, garage door is open as well. The one thing we could do, if you don't want to do the switch in there, if I go in my advanced, also in the advanced, you can set a password. That way, if just because somebody else has this same app on their iPhone doesn't mean they can open your garage door. You can set a password. Another neat thing you can do is you can set a channel. So, of the 14 Wi-Fi channels, you can pick a channel if you want. The de default channel is zero, which scans for the strongest channel. But you can also set that channel if you know that uh, you might have interference. So you can play around with it to see which one's more powerful. But if I exit out of here and I go into the settings menu and I find my garage door app I can turn the input status on or off so if I turn that off need to exit completely out of the program so when I do that Now when I go back in here, you'll notice that we don't have our indicator status lights anymore. Um, that's just one way. If you, if you don't want to put the limit switch in here or the indicator, you can just shut that off so it's uh, not there telling you garage doors closed all the time. Everything else functions just the same.